NAT in Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN. Ever wondered where NAT DIA can be used in Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN? Well, let's see. Let's take Silver's case for example. He's a network administrator in enterprise and his leadership has provided him with few tasks. First, being provisioning internet access locally for employees located at brand sites. Second, provisioning the same internet access even for guest users located at the branch. And third, in the event of a local circuit breakout failure in the branch sites, provisioning internet access in the data center. Now let's see how NAT DIA helps Silva complete his tasks. In this use case, branch employees are allowed direct access to the internet for cloud-based applications and user web access. DIA is achieved by configuring the managed routers as an internet exit point. Designated employee internet traffic uses the directly connected internet transport for direct internet access. The rest of the internal traffic is forwarded via the SD-WAN overlay using any available transport tunnel to the destination. Remote site guest users access the internet directly for user web access and cloud-based applications without routing the traffic via the internal network and through the central site. In the event of a local breakout circuit failure or DIA tracker failure, then the data traffic starts to flow through the SD-WAN overlay tunnels via the data center site to access the internet, thereby providing a failover. This feature is called Cisco SD-WAN NAT DIA fallback. Now let's move to Ben, another network engineer with the same enterprise. The enterprise has now shifted focus towards optimizing SaaS application user flows towards the cloud. Hence the following tasks. Task 1. Users should have a more reliable way of connecting to SaaS applications in the cloud. Number 2. The data path chosen for the SaaS driven traffic should be done in a dynamic fashion and in an optimized way. Number three, we should maintain a certain level of quality of experience on a per application basis. Let's see how Cloud on Ramp for SaaS helped Ben in completing this task. With Cisco SD-WAN, you can easily configure access to SaaS applications through a centralized GUI. Access can be either direct to the internet from a remote site or through gateway locations such as regional data center or career neutral facility. In addition, the Cisco SD-1 solution continuously measures and monitors the performance of each application along with each path to that application, and it chooses the best performing path for the most optimal user experience. If changes or impairments occur in the network, the solution can adjust dynamically and intelligently move SaaS traffic to the updated optimal path. This feature is called Cisco SD-1 Cloud on RAM for SaaS. Finally, let's look at Chang a network engineer at a financial services firm wherein security is of utmost importance. This firm also focuses on SaaS application user flow towards the cloud. However, they cannot compromise on security. Hence the following tasks. Number one, all SaaS bound user traffic must be secured. Number two, DI exit points must be equipped with a full security stack. Number three, the path selection for each application should be dynamic to maintain consistent quality of experience for users. Let's now see how Cloud on Ramp Secure Service Edge helps Chang. The Cloud on Ramp for SaaS integration with Secure Service Edge or SASE enables continuous probing for SaaS applications through SASE tunnels. This helps in choosing the best performing SASE tunnels to deliver optimal performance for SaaS applications. For a unified secure access service edge architecture or SASE architecture, Cisco SD-WAN and Cisco Umbrella will meet your needs. However, for a multi-vendor strategy for the SASE deployment, Cisco has expanded its SASE ecosystem by collaborating with third-party secure service edge vendors such as Zscaler, Cloudflare, and Netscope. Cisco Umbrella unifies firewall, secure web gateway, DNS, and CASP functionality in one single integrated cloud native platform. The Cisco Duo Network Gateway is a reverse proxy that provides zero trust access to supported applications with multi-factor authentication. The Cisco Umbrella and Cisco Duo together is often referred to as security as a service offering. And this combined with the observability capabilities 
such as analytics and telemetry of the existing SD1 solution is called Secure Access Service Edge or SASE. So when you configure Cloud on Ramp for SAS for a site to connect over SIG tunnels, you gain secure access to the SAS applications over the internet. Wow, NAT DI is indeed useful. To sum up, NAT DI helps localize internet breakout, Cloud on Ramp for SAS helps optimize SAS user flows and is supported with SASE tunnels. To learn more about NAT DIA and Cisco Catalyst SD WAN, do visit us at cs.co forward slash SD WAN hyphen NAT. Thank you.